Logic, we believe that security operations has a data problem. Sales, finance, marketing, departments outside of security are transforming their enterprise, doing amazing things with their data and being very successful at capitalizing from it. On the security side, with SIM being our source of truth, many enterprise security teams have recognized that their model at SIM is holding them back, but they're locked in. We often see security leaders dealing with SIM lock-in in three main ways. First one being a rip and replace, which is difficult to nearly impossible to do for many reasons. The second one is they'll try to optimize the current SIM pipeline if they haven't already, but with little improvement and a lot of effort. Very popular approaches of recently is a DIY you know, attempt to build their own data lake, which is a real headache, uh, not only to build, but to maintain. If security operation teams could use the data platforms of their choice, they could detect threats using data sets that they can't send to their SIM today, and their highest volume use cases as well to a more cost-effective data lake to reduce the spend. Without SIM lock-in, security teams wouldn't worry as much about the impact of their SIM vendor getting acquired, as well as ad take advantage of the advances in data science and machine learning. Introducing AnvilLogic, the world's first multi-data platform SIM that enables enterprise security operation teams to break free from SIM lock-in. You can detect, hunt, and investigate threats across your Splunk, Azure, and Snowflake data platforms without disrupting your existing SIM workflows. With AnvilLogic, you can get thousands of pre-built rules mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework and curated for the platform of your choice. You can also accelerate detection engineering with an AI security copilot that supports your adoption of a cost-effective and scalable data lake alongside your existing SIM. Let's take a look at how easy it is for your security team to close detection gaps, cut SIM costs, and gain optionality with the AnvilLogic multi-data platform SIM. So with AnvilLogic, we make it very easy to integrate with your existing Splunk deployment. Um, so by going into our integrations page and checking the, the data logging platform, right, we can, your team will be able to integrate with your existing Splunk deployment, as well as connect to a new Snowflake environment. Um, there's simple instructions to follow for your team to make it very easy to go through and do that. Additionally, we also are allowing you to leverage your existing investment uh, when it comes to knowledge objects, detection searches, and other things, we're able to import those directly into Anvil Logic so that you can keep that and continue to run forward. So when you're done with this, you have a combined architecture where you're able to continue running detections on Splunk, you're running detections on Snowflake, and with Anvil Logic, you're able to correlate those together. So many security teams today are mapping their detection coverage to MITRE, and that's something that Anvil Logic is well positioned to help you do. So we have this concept of a maturity score that we're helping rate your security operations when it comes to threat detection. One of those key points is that our detection coverage against MITRE, we can see here exactly our level of coverage, the things that we have rules for, and maybe some things we don't. Anvilogic provides off-the-shelf content that we align to MITRE, and we provide these in the form of recommendations to you that are going to show when there are rules that we have that are ready to deploy in your environment uh, because they match your prioritization and because you have the data feed available. So by clicking into this particular recommendation, I can see that we have a number of rules that are recommended that cover this particular technique. If I drill into the rule one step further, there's no black box here. We have exactly what's going on with this rule down to the code level so that your team can see exactly what's there, make any adjustments that they need to, and uh, deal with it that way. You'll notice that we have multiple rule versions for applying for different uh, data repositories with the appropriate data category. This makes it very easy and flexible for you to move data from a, maybe a high cost repository to a lower cost, more efficient data lake. So for example, in this particular instance, I have AWS CloudTrail logs in Snowflake. Therefore, this rule version is recommended to me. I can take this rule written by the Anvil Logic Forge and make my own private copy by adding it to to my workspace. The idea here is now I have full flexibility to be able to edit this, update any metadata associated with it, make any adjustments to the rule logic, if there are any required, most of them ready to go, test it in the environment, and then hit deploy. This in essence is showed 
just in a few minutes how you're able to close MITRE detection coverage gaps by adding rules provided by Envilogic uh, in a very easy to use workflow. So we've talked about the Envilogic armory, but in many cases, organizations need to build custom content. While Envilogic brings the very latest in Gen AI and assistance here for you to be able to take your custom use cases and not require detailed SQL knowledge to be able to bring these to life. So with our simple drag and drop rule builder, you're able to to select the data you want to look through, you're able to not have to type into a blank cursor screen text box exactly the SQL statement, but instead we have a embedded Monty AI assistant here that's designed to be able to take natural language descriptions of what you're looking for and translate that into SQL code with your specific field names in use. So selecting one of these examples here showcases exactly how natural language is transformed into an SQL statement. What I wanna do here is then add an additional component to this, um, for example, where an IPv4 address is in the process field as well. So this can be you know, very advanced type of operations that are going to maintain state and continue to build on a previous query so that you can use that for what you want it to do. I simply need to copy that, paste it into my code box, and then I can begin searching for those events to test my query. Now, once you're satisfied with your query and you've completed the, the last remaining uh, metadata inside the rule, you now have a rule that can be saved as a threat identifier. And similar to what we showed previously in deploying a threat identifier, this can be pushed down to your Snowflake environment to run on a periodic basis. The, the main takeaways are that your team doesn't have to be SQL experts, but with the power of Anvil Logic and Gen AI, we've made it very easy for you to leverage uh, the advantages and the efficiencies of a security data lake um, by putting your data there and using this to do your detection engineering.